Hello, dear students. Today we are going to get to CLAT Kickstarter with main idea in reading comprehension. Now you must have heard of so many questions when it comes to your English passages, where they ask what is the main idea of the passage, what is the primary concern of the passage, and children really lose out on the whole. It's not just for the questions, but the passage per se. They don't understand the passage if they don't get the main idea or crux of the passage, right? So we are going to understand what is main idea today in the class. Okay, let us begin. Now what? is main idea this is the very first thing one should know before going further so main idea is the central idea or the most important topic in a passage or a paragraph now what do we understand by this basically it is something around which the whole passage revolves right so something that you will place in the center and everything else would be going around it so all the discussions would be around this one central idea right so it's what is the purpose of this main idea it's it actually gives the purpose to the passage right it sets the purpose of the passage it sets the direction of the passage or the paragraph let's say my main idea could be uh, female infanticide okay and then what am i trying to say about female infanticide is going to be the further supporting ideas of the passage let's say i'm trying to say that it's a wrong thing it's a wrong deal it should not be happening so i'll be adding examples pointers facts to support this main idea that female infanticide is illegal okay now the thing with main idea why it becomes very difficult to find out is that sometimes it is very obviously stated while or the other times it could be something which is implied and you have to get out get it out from the passage by reading the passage thoroughly okay so we'll see how to work about with it now how to find this main idea most of the times like 90% of the times you will find the main idea in the first paragraph itself okay and usually in the very first few lines okay it would be impliedly given or directly stated that this is it would be understood okay plus even if you are confused let's say sometimes it happens children come and say ma'am this i supposed that the, i was supposing that this is the main idea of the passage but then by the time i reached the end they had brought in something else and they were talking so i found that there were two main ideas in the passage but you don't need to worry about it there could be that sometimes they divert from what they are speaking about but you will usually notice what has been given in the very first paragraph would be repeated in the last paragraph again okay because they have to reassert the idea that they are talking about so the very uh, good technique to know the main idea is focus on the first paragraph and then the last paragraph so you will get an idea that this is the main idea okay uh, sometimes it could be stated in the very first sentence of a paragraph most of the times you will get it okay and it may be repeated or restated at the end of the paragraph so like this is something around which the whole passage is revolving so it will be recurring again and again it would be coming back to discussion again and again so if you are a little open to the to these nuances you will be easily getting the main idea okay now one would be like why even find the main idea if i can get the passage what is the point right if i can get what they are speaking and if i can mark the answers that doesn't matter but it is very very important very very crucial to get the main idea even if they are not asking a main idea question in the passage right first of all it helps you to understand the context of the passage if i am not getting for example as i told you about female infanticide if i am not getting that the author is being critical about it or if he is supporting it if i am not getting this stance of the author i will not understand the whole context of the passage right uh, recently again i had a child who came to me and said i did not understand this particular concept which was given in the passage which was about chat gpt now since they did not get the main idea of the passage they had to leave out the whole passage per se 
right so sometimes it's very very crucial very very essential to understand the main idea of the passage to get the complete context of the passage then understand the framework of the passage if they are supporting the idea the following things after that would be exam whether the examples the facts okay the ideologies that are being explained over here would be all supporting it right so the framework what follows after the main idea will somehow support the whole passage so it also helps in understanding the framework of the passage ki ha maine ye bol diya hai ki i don't like this particular fact now i whatever will follow you already know the author is only going to bring in facts to support that particular idea so the framework will also be clear you will not be confused ki abhi ye kya bola usne iske baad kya bola right then leads on to other questions and supporting ideas right if it's very easy if you get the main idea the other questions would be quite easier to understand and to attempt because supporting ideas you know agar isne ye bola hai ki let's say he is talking about certain technology and what is the effect of that technology or it is disadvantages in some way you know the supporting ideas would follow the same route right so it helps on to attempt questions like tone okay setting all these questions are very much relied relying on your main idea right to if again if the author is saying negatively about a particular topic you know he is being critical he is being angry so his tone would be set on the main idea agar again main idea nahi samajh mein aaya to tone wale questions chhut jayenge aur aise koi bhi questions which are like author ka kya view hai what is the author's purpose by talking about this you will all lose out on that right then again same thing informs about the writer's perspective very a uh, prominent question that comes when it comes to main idea is this ki what is the author's primary concern in the passage or what is the author's purpose in talking about this in the passage main idea nahi samajh mein aaya to ye bhi nahi samajh mein aayega okay then while we are looking for main idea what are the do's and don'ts that are very essential here first of all we have to see what is the passage mostly talking about yahan pe problem kya hoti hai uh, children usually miss out agar unko lagta hai jaise ki 70% humne iski baat ki aur kahin end mein 30% author thoda sa deviate hoke koi aur idea ke bare mein baat karne laga hai which might be a supporting idea children somehow aur kyunki kya hota hai options jab aate hain they are very closely connected so children somehow get confused and they mark this 30% as the main idea kyunki last mein unke mind mein yahi reh jata hai ki last mein is pe khatam kiya to yahi hoga main idea but aapko ye focus karna hai ki mostly 70% usne kis bare mein baat ki hai aur ye jo supporting idea kya ye iske relevance mein hai ya nahi right then what do each of the details of the passage have in common matlab jo different paragraphs hain iske sare details किस चीज को लीड ऑन कर रहे हैं जो सारे फैक्ट्स हैं, एग्जाम्पल्स हैं सपोर्टिंग आइडियाज हैं ये सब क्या एक ही चीज के अराउंड रिवॉल्व कर रहे हैं सो वॉट इज दैट यू हैव टू लीड ऑन टू दैट ओके देन फॉर दिस अ गुड वे टू स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग वुड बी समराइजिंग इन योर ओन वर्ड्स ओके स्पेशली विथ लॉन्गर पैसेजेस इट बिकम्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट to get the main idea in the longer passages or paragraphs right so summarizing could be a very good technique to go there so summarize the whole paragraph or whole passage in your own words four five lines and try to see kya jo maine main idea socha is it actually what is being told about here right now problem again do not include details or examples from the text also known as the supporting ideas अगेन बहुत बार ऐसा होता है कि हम एग्जाम्पल्स को या डिटेल्स को सोच लेते हैं कि ये है मेन आइडिया अगर uh, ये आई थिंक रिसेंटली अगेन आई हैड वन टॉपिक वेर दे वर गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सर्टन नॉवल 
in that passage but the passage was about something else so the child came again and asked ma'am since ye pura passage to is novel ke bare mein baat kar rahe to ye main idea mein to you have to understand see they are using the novel or that example to reinforce the main idea even though it is being talked about kyunki again focus ki first paragraph mein kya bola aur last mein kya bola us example ke baad will did they come back to the main idea that they talked about that is very very important to understand then do not extend your idea beyond what is written in the text even if you know a ton about a topic it does not matter okay dekho हो सकता है तुम्हें एक पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक के बारे में बहुत सारी इंफॉर्मेशन है एंड यू माइट थिंक कि अगर ये हो सकता है कोई एक लेट से विमेन डाउरी वाला टॉपिक हो गया कोई भी टॉपिक हो गया उसमें कुछ और चीज बता रहा है पैसेज में एंड यू हैव सम एक्स्ट्रा इंफॉर्मेशन और एक्सटर्नल इंफॉर्मेशन प्लीज डोंट पुट दैट इंफॉर्मेशन ओवर ह्योर stick to what is being told in the passage and then formulate your main idea from what is being told in the passage do not bring in your already existing information over here because you will be becoming biased and jo author ka main idea wo tumhare main idea se uh, ka, come together ho it's not necessary right so again see whether the main idea that you are forming is it too narrow or too broad ये भी एक इशू आता है बहुत बार क्योंकि अगेन सिमिलर ऑप्शन आते हैं बहुत एग्जैक्टिट्यूड uh, वाले ऑप्शन आते हैं तो बहुत डिफिकल्ट हो जाता है तो तुम्हें ये नोटिस करना है जो चीज उन्हें बोली है इजर इज इट टू नैरो टू द स्कोप ऑफ वॉट आई थॉट या टू ब्रॉड कि मतलब ये बहुत ज्यादा ओवर एनकम्पासिंग हो जाता है क्योंकि कभी कभी क्या होता है हम मेन आइडिया में ना ब्रॉड आइडिया को बहुत बार ले लेते हैं कि इसके अंदर तो सब आ जाएगा बहुत जगह होता है बट इज इट लाइक इज इट बिकमिंग टू ब्रॉड दैट इट इज गोइंग बियॉन्ड द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द पैसेज दैट इज वॉट यू हैव टू लुक एट ना वट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन वेन इट कम्स टू मेन आइडिया विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मोस्ट एक्यूरेटली स्टेट्स द मेन आइडिया ऑफ द पैसेज डिरेक्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द प्राइमरी पर्पज ऑफ द पैसेज अगेन रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड द मेन आइडिया this passage is primarily concerned with which of the following you have to tell the author of the passage even the author of the passage is primarily concerned with what you might think ye main idea question nahi hai but ye hai kyunki author jiske bare mein baat kar raha wahi to main idea hai right what is the crux or theme of the passage even though theme is really different from main idea somewhere in certain question it can substitute for it क्योंकि अगर उसका मेन आइडिया है दैट फीमेल इनफेंटिसाइड शुड स्टॉप थीम वुड आल्सो रिवॉल्व अराउंड इट सो इट हेल्प्स यू इन गेटिंग दैट व्हाट इज द सेंट्रल आइडिया ऑफ द पैसेज अनदर क्वेश्चन व्हिच माइट नॉट सीम वेरी रेलेवेंट टू द मेन आइडिया पार्ट इज द टाइटल ऑफ द पैसेज बट सेवरल टाइम्स योर टाइटल इज रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड द मेन आइडिया ऑफ द पैसेज तो एक टॉपिक